Hi everyone! Today I want to share with you how to split employee's first and last name from one single text. So for example, you see here we have a list of employee's full name and uh, we want to separate them into just first name and first, uh, last name or we want to make it in a format of last name first and then first name after. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that with a few simple Excel functions. So first we need to find the space in between the tags. So just follow the promote and you find, okay, so here is number eight. And then we want to use a left function to find the first name. So you apply the number of characters and here you go, you have the first name. And then how do we find the last name? So to do that first, you need to find out the length of your cap, uh, of your tags, 15. And then how do we find the last name? You use the right function with the text selected. And then you want to select the number of character as the length minus um, the first one. And here we go, you have the last name. So now let's try to combine them to see what we get. So you have the last name first, and then you have a comma space, and then close the um, double quote, and then you have um, the first name. Boom, you have the characters. Um, you have something similar to what we want to achieve here. And actually, you can also use the concatenate function here. Um, you do a, the same thing, you select the character um, that you want to concatenate and you get exactly the same thing. So now comes a question, like I don't like the space in between my comma and my last name. How do I get rid of it? Well, let's do it. Um, so first you need to find out the length of your last name. And you know that you want to get rid of the last uh, character, which is the space. But we actually want to um, choose from the leftmost character. So here we go. So here is where you can change your formula. And then um, let's do exactly the same thing as what we did. So you select the last name um, with common space um, with the first name and boom, you have your name that you want. So let's copy the formula down and then see what we have for people. So we have that good for like Abraham Lincoln. We have that kind of good for Teresa, Mother Teresa. Well, not exactly the same for John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King because we actually want their last name to be only Kennedy and we want JF to be the first name. How do we do that then? Well, for those two cases, you need to use a function called uh, substitute. So let me show you how that works. So for a substitute, you select the text, select what you want to replace, which is a space. And then you select what you want to replace it with. In my case, I use three explanation marks just because no name is going to use those characters. And then I select one because this is the first in, uh, instance that I want to change. So let's see what we get. Okay, so we get G John um, exclamation marks three times F dot space Kennedy. So how does that change what we want to do? Because now actually we can do exactly the same thing as um, what we did in the past. So let's change. Um, what I wanted. So for example, here I want I want to change um, all the cell formula reference from A8 to B8, which is um, pointing to this cell. So let's change that um, and then see what we got. So we have only one space and we have this um, Kennedy here as the last name. And now we have John exponential marks three times and F Kennedy. Okay, now it's actually easy because we just do another substitute. Um, we just change the old text of that 
back into space. And then there's only one instance. And here we go. So now we have John F. Kennedy. And look at if we copy this formula down for Martin Luther King, we get exactly. Um, oh no, it's not changed because we haven't substituted it. So let's copy this formula down here for Martin Luther King. And then let's copy down all the formulas here for Martin Luther King. Here we go. So we have only King as last name and Martin Luther as um, the name. So that is how we use the finance substitute functions to split employees first and last name. Hope you find it helpful.